So where next? That's the big well, question. You know, I was thinking, I know I mentioned it before, but uh, but Ireland, you know, love the drinking culture and the dancing. No, no it's just, no. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'm thinking Belfast. Yeah, there's a lovely little pub around there called the Mermaid Inn, which is which come very highly recommended. You yeah, know? but you don't, the problem we've got with that is... Like, okay, so what I was thinking, we go through Hungary, then Austria, up to Germany, down into Belgium, then into France, across the English Channel, up to Scotland, across to Ireland, and you're there, really. Just take a right here. Please, just here, right. Why? Just take the right. Next, here, take this one. That's Ukraine. Why would we go to Ukraine? <laughs> you haven't. I have. For f**k's sake. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be fine. There's only six games left, so... So these were the options. <laughs> these were the options. Um, for, for whatever reason, Marseille didn't want to give me didn't want to give me a job. Um, don't know why. You can see there we could have gone almost in Scotland, back to Romania. Perhaps a few options there for us. Uh, both of which not interested. Believe me, everyone on this list has been tried and failed for, apart from one. Now, if you were to redo that list, you'd go, oh, they're all quite pronounceable. All of those. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Yep, so I applied for a job in in the Ukraine. I wasn't the favourite for the job. Make that perfectly clear. Alan Pardew's the favourite for the Preston job. That's nice. And anyway, uh, Nafkovek Yukrak Nafta. Come on. This is me! Uh, Romania, you'll be pleased to know I've left there, so no longer going to be offending you. Ukraine, hi. Ah, dearie me. So I've been off with the job. Uh, at the, oh, we'll, we'll look at it in a minute. I'm taking the job. There's no, there's no other option. Um, it's been about a month and a half when me and Ben Sports have been sat around twiddling our thumbs, not each other's thumbs, our own thumbs. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, we'll we'll agree to that. And I'm now representing this new team. Core. Oh, this is a tricky. In terms of pronunciations, I thought probably can't get any tougher than Romania. So this is a good place to start. Ukraine. Oh, good. Welcome to Naftovek. Uh, you're not, okay, what we're going to do, I've thought of this already. That's the full name. <laughs> Got easier, didn't it? That's the full name. Uh, so I'm going to call them NUO. That's It's the only option. But on, It is the only option. So NUO are the team that we're going to manage. And uh, yeah, they've been found not that long, actually, when you think about it in terms of context in football. Uh, 37 years. So there we are then. Year found in 1980. Let's see how we get on with some of these names. I have got some Romanian under the belt. Can I now learn Ukrainian quick enough? No, no, I, no, I can't yeah, learn Ukrainian quick enough. So what's the situation, Ben? Where, where do we stand on the 29th of April? Well, NUO are currently bottom of Ukraine. They're the worst team in Ukraine. That's right. There's a theme, isn't there, so far in the series? They have 20 points uh, with six games remaining. They are seven points. I say seven points. They're 10 points from safety. Seven points from a, a playoff uh, game. I assume that's a playoff game in 15th against the team that comes up from below. Should we, should we confirm that? So the bottom three teams are relegated. The team in 15th position qualifies for a relegation playoff. So I think at that stage, at this point anyway, that is the dream. Um... NUO aren't a team that are blessed with loads of fantastic flair and attacking talent. The best of players are a defensive midfielder and a right back. So, oh, oh, by the way, their top striker, their best striker, is out for two weeks with a dislocated jaw. I can only imagine that came from shouting at his teammates. So, um, we've got games to, to go. I feel like the best... Oh, the form's good. The form is brilliant. I can see why the manager was sacked. A few of you might be interested to know how Sami Pankota got on since I left. Uh, they won a couple of games. So thanks, thanks to me, Pankata. Thanks for really helping me out there. Not bottom anymore. So every cloud. So of course we're not in a transfer window. Uh, we've actually, in terms of balance and things like this, there's some money there. So if if we stay at this club beyond this season and survive, we may well have a chance. Obviously, for those that aren't familiar with football manager, if you get relegated into a division which no longer exists, which is the case in Ukraine, you do get sacked. So I could start the journeyman save series, getting sacked twice in one season. So wouldn't that just be? predictable now um there's meetings and all sorts to go through and you've seen them before you know how they go so i'm going to do all of that business uh, and then i'll be back with you for the first game of my managerial campaign as nuo manager it's happening oh today oh my god okay summy are the team we're playing against that they currently sit in 13th place i'll see you then on the other side of a few meetings okay transfer update we've got two players on loan 
that apparently are very good. Uh, Yuri Yastrup, uh, one of our better players, he's a defence midfielder. He is going to be key, I feel. And uh, he's got a mate as well from Zerka, who will be one of our more attacking, creative midfielders. OK, right, well, at least I know where we stand on that front. He's actually more of a winger. Injury crisis. Uh, yes, our top man, Kostian Tian Cerny, is out, for, as I said, two weeks with the sketch jaw. As soon as he's back, everything will be fine. I don't know what the other options are at striker, but I'm concerned. Oh, I've got to recommend, I've got to un unfollow Romania, the Romanian Cup, the Roman Romanian Second Division, and Somi Pankota. Uh, I kind of don't want to unsubscribe from them. Well, right, I'll accept it, but then I will, I want to still follow them. Okay, in terms of captains, just keep it the same. Uh, club background, they've won the Ukrainian First Division before, which is the division I'm in, so... They've won, the, the, essentially in England, the championship. That's the best thing they've ever done. Youth facilities and training facilities are good. Um, good. The scouting team have welcomed me. Apparently, a 17-year-old called Diego Costa on a free transfer is available. Yes, please. The player has no knowledge of Ukraine. That's probably in our favour. Jefferson Romario. Oh, from from a, a team in Brazil, I think that might be. Is that Brazil? It is Brazil. Potential right there. Now, Ukrainian teams do often pick up Brazilians. Obviously, Shakhtar being the main one. So maybe that's a route we'll go down. Right, I must meet the media. Um, my media handling so far, poor. So I better work on this. It says it might be difficult. Like, I can't speak Ukrainian. It may be difficult for a while, but I'm not here to learn Ukrainian. Little do they know I actually am. Uh, I'm here to win things. Just slagged off the other manager. He failed to achieve in areas that I will achieve. So unlucky. Okay. We're getting closer to getting... The language barrier could limit me. Right, Diego Costa is is in the van. He's the first signing. He, you wouldn't have predicted that, would you? If I'd have said my first signing would be Diego Costa, you'd have gone, no, it won't. He plays for... Yeah, I think you'll find he was well, very willing to move, much like in real life. Okay, so I've got my first game. I mean, this is this is new for me. Now, it'd be wrong of me not to ask the assistant to help, so we'll quick pick the first game. I could try and be clever here, but I've got no idea. Um, Now, in terms of performance... These, these two up top don't look like they're up to much. But in terms of quality, this is probably the best we've got. So I think we'll, we'll, play, them, do you know, we'll play them as wingers. We'll, we'll play a classic 4-4-2. I love that. They've got an English manager. And the first thing I've done is gone, right, 4-4-2. That's the, the fabric of the game. There'll be board members looking at each other going, you said he wouldn't do this. Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm ever so sorry. Okay, then. Right. This is the team. I'll run you through the team. Roman is going to be in goal. This is... Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Right. Just... Get rid of surnames, for goodness sake. I'll be no time at all. Just hold on. Some of the first names are ridiculous. Right, there we go. That'll do for now. So that's a small change to proceedings. This is the team, and I'll run you through it now. <coughs> I'm not going to be outdone by Ukraine. So Roman's going to be in goal. We've got Alexandre at uh, right back. We've got Arta at left back. Stanislav and Dimitro in the centre. They're two very good centre backs. Stanislav's not that good. Oh, your first name's still annoying. Genaldi. At right wing, Eugene on the left, easy to say. Uh, Sidoyik, Nick in the, in the centre with Yastrub. Uh, you've got Vlad and Dennis up top. Lovely old job. Uh, actually, we're going to change him to advanced playmaker. We saw that he was he was better at that, so we'll let him do that. And oh, no, that's not him, that's the defensive one. Oh, bloody hell. So I know, I know the team well, at least I know the team well. I'm actually changing it. We're, we're not going for 4 4 2. Pressure from the board. We're going for this. We're going for a diamond. Okay, standard flexible, no instructions. I'm going in. I need to find out about this team as quick as possible. What we can do, what we can't do, let's do it. Now, I say we're playing a team in 13th position. Position. It's Summy of the team of players. Should have managed them. That's the easiest name to say on the whole list. Okay, sending the assistant. Oh, they're playing a 4-5-1 formation. Is their striker any good? He's not He's not great. He's not brilliant. We can we can do things here. And they've got an injury there as well. Let's hard tackle him. Let's get, let's hurt him today. Okay, passionately, let's give the fans something to cheer for. Yeah, they've not, they've, they've not been happy. They've not won in the last seven or eight games. So it's time for me to come in here and prove to the fans that I'm the man to take them to the next level of Ukrainian football. So anyway, me and you, you're about to uh, get on like a house on fire. Which, again, still a phrase I don't really understand. Now, who's going to make themselves a hero? Who's going to make themselves the... We've got six games. Who's going to remember them? Who are we going to remember from this series? It would be the great escape if we can do it. I'll be like the I'll be like the Sam Allardyce, but without all the corruption. Eugene on the left-hand side, working it with Artur. Ball into Yastrup. Plays it forward to Vlad. Vlad to Dennis. Plays it across. Oh, it's a good save from their goalkeeper. A shot was taken by a name that I'm still struggling to say. Could have been Dennis. Who knows? Okay. All right, Dennis on the ball again. We're looking threatening in the yellow. And uh, we're going to... 
going to play a ball forward. Dennis is onto that. He's, he's pinched ahead of the goalkeeper and slotted home. Dennis scores our first goal of the campaign so far. By the way, we've come in this. We're coming to this game absolutely dominating. Five shots, two on target. This other team didn't know what's hit them. So far, we're on absolute fire. Let's look at it in three dimensions. This is good. this is easy. Ukraine's easy. So the ball slid through. I mean, it's a poor ball through. Let's face it. The ball, the back pass though is equally poor. And Dennis nabs in the goalkeeper, tackled at his feet, and uh, we take a one nil lead. And all of a sudden, oh, survival looks almost certain. Free kick to uh, well, Roman's let it in, hasn't he? Roman's Roman's not saved it. And I'm not here to criticise Roman, because he's trying, bless him, but that was poor. You can see here, they do a very clever free kick. Our wall taken out of it completely. They split, and uh, yeah, he's he sort of palmed it. It's not good goalkeeping. I should say, since our goal, they've come back into it. They've... I don't know what they've changed, but all of a sudden they seem like a capable football team. And we look under pressure as, uh, as they come forward again to Summy. And they've got a few options. That central striker is the man they're going to try and obviously play around as the ball's played inside. Out wide now. And they've got options in the middle. If they play the ball right, headed clear though by Stanislav. Oh, the ball's clear. And now Dennis can potentially break. Dennis with the ball up to this left-hand side. Eugene's on it. And we're controlling the game. This is what I've, I've told them in the pre-match training that I was not available for. I've only just arrived at the stadium, done a press conference. And now here I am as the ball is played potentially out to this left-hand side. Eugene's making a run. No, he has to keeps it, though. And, you know, the, the ball retention is important as it's played forward to Vlad, who holds it up brilliantly. Uh, out to Eugene. He's got runners in the middle. Can he find one? He does do. A shot on goal, perhaps. Oh, and it's in. Side Nick, I think is how you'd say it. He's also called sort of Dennis, but spelt slightly differently. I couldn't call two players Dennis, uh, but side and Nick has scored the goal and 2-1 uh, at half time if we can take a lead in I mean it's a packed crowd it's a capacity crowd today at Summy and uh, yeah good finish poor goalkeeping who cares bloody hell this is way more stressful than I'd ever anticipated I'm pleased with how things are going keep it up this is the perfect start though to a, to a dream you know a, a dream career in Ukraine Shakhtar I'll be calling in no time they'll probably sell an English player they'll need a translator that's all I'm thinking I mean that, then again, I don't know Ukrainian so that would not be much use okay 20 minutes to go I would love to make a change but it seems like it wouldn't really do anything useful as uh, they come forward again if they score maybe I will make a change ball shot on goal Roman scores an own goal that's a very curious face he's got Oh, I've scored no What are you going to do about it? So, ball played out wide. The shot comes in. Roman makes the first save. And I've lost my voice. He's lost his head. Um, it's 2-2. Two, two. Do we make a change then? Now, there's another Eugene. Do we? Eugene's on either side. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've got Eugene 1 and Eugene 2. <laughs> Hold on. So, Eugene 1. This was the original Eugene. Eugene 1. And then we've got another one here. He's recently come into the side. The right winger, Eugene 2. Brilliant. It was only a matter of time, folks. It was only a matter of time. Okay, time's ticking down. A point, I'm looking at the table, a point really isn't enough. Uh, I don't want to say Roman's cost us here, but he certainly has, as the ball's played into the middle of the pitch. Nobody there to do anything with it. I, I must say, though, we've, we've played quite well. It gives me confidence that in the next few games, you know what, I don't know who we play. I don't know how good they are, but it gives me a little bit of hope that we can indeed fight back and survive relegation from the Ukrainian second tier. The, the team talk's gone well. I mean, we've all had a good time. We've dominated the game. We did win, though. The next game is against 16th place Poltava. And, I mean, that is set to be a very exciting next episode. So our next game is in about a week's time. Um, just to, let, let's run through then, shall we? See who we've got to play. So Politeva, Verez, uh, and then Ingolets. Let's see. How good are those, those guys? Verez, are they any good? They're up there. Ingolets down there. Oh, that's, that's options then. Who else do we play there? Turopi. And, I mean, it begins with B. Let's just say that. Uh, another team in the bottom three. And the 12th place... This is, this is on. This is on. Okay, right then. That then brings us to the end of this episode. But if you have enjoyed it and if you're excited about the very, probably mini Ukrainian adventure that we're about to have, do leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts on the team and any advice for anyone from Ukraine. I wouldn't be able to understand it even if you wrote it in, in Ukrainian. And there we are then. That, that brings us to the end. We love with care. If we not to mention. Until next time, I'll see you again very soon. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And uh, goodbye. It was the only team that wanted me. It was the only job I wanted. Ben Sports News, on the other hand, not so keen.